Well, what's going on, YouTube? Roxas the Tuatera here, and today we are bringing you some Pokemon Showdown battles. Okay, guys, and the last episode, as you saw, the episode. I keep saying <laughs> I stopped doing I stopped doing the episode thing, but um, in the last video, rather, um, we had a good battle in the UU format with our Slurp Slurptile team. And I've only made an adjustment to Mega Sceptile. Um, his hidden power is changed, so I've changed it to ground. I thought fire wasn't going to be as useful because we have things that could take out fire types, I think. I mean, not fire types. Um, we have some things that could take out um, um, grass types and other types like that on the team, to my knowledge. So I changed uh, Sceptile's hidden power to ground because we don't have much to really handle um, steel types. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Anyway, we're gonna get right to the team update now. I didn't do it last video because, um, I did it, I think, in the... In the, uh, post-commentary video, and plus, nothing had changed. But now something has changed, so... Sir, uh, Slurptile... <laughs> Slurptile is done. That's the name of this team. Anyway, Slurptile is going to be the lead, the mega, of this team, and he has Hidden Power Fire, um... Dragon Pulse, Giga Drain, and Leaf Storm. We also have our Milk Dud, the Milk Tank here, who is, who is going to be our defensive Pokemon of the team. So hopefully, when certain moves like um, well, Poison type moves would definitely be hit on my uh, Escavalier because it's immune. Uh, but yeah, overall, I think Milk Tank. I just really want to use Milk Tank. It kind of works with the team in many ways. Um, like such as fire and ice type moves, so if there's a fire move or ice type move going to be hit on my Sceptile, I can switch right into Mill Tank and eat it up with Thick Fat. Um, we also have our Florges here who can eat up fire and ice type as long as it's um, special, you know. <laughs> and some physical, but not too physical. Too much physical attacks, because this one's a different nature. It's not straight, uh, especially defensive. Um, she holds the Protect and Aromatherapy and Wish, just in case. For some wish support and aromatherapy support. We also have Honey, our one of our beasts. She's our beast on our team. I'm one of our main physical attackers as well. She's a beast on this team. And we have um, Cling to Life, Jolteon. And we have our No Selfie for You, Esvalier. Um, I don't. No one's really asked me what Cling to Life means with Jolteon. I think I said it in the post commentary. We're gonna get right into that battle. I said it in the post commentary why I named it that. But for now, if you guys want to find out, watch the post commentary. Um, I'll probably change the name to something more obvious because I just think that's what Jolteon makes you want to do. Makes you want to cling to life because you're running. And it's also a, a um, quote that someone says in an anime, so I'm just going just, just gonna to leave it out there. Um, Alright, so looking at his team, this team is very competitive. It's very scary, too. It's a Mega Blastoise. Um, okay, okay, okay. Um... Main style is a really good lead, but so is the Hydreigon, and so is the Darmanitan as well. Um, so actually what I'm going to do is lead with... I, I hope he doesn't lead with his Arcanine or Darmanitan. Yeah, I hope he doesn't lead with either of those. It's going to be a problem because Darmanitan is a thing, and I haven't seen a Darmanitan for a while, which is really odd that I'm seeing it now. Um... So I'm going to lead with no selfie for you, trying to predict the main shot lead. Ooh, that's really bad. That's really bad. I should rock focus sash on this so then when Darmanitan hits me, I counter him and kill him. But, um, yeah. He knows I have to switch. So I'm just going to stay in. If he goes to Flare Blitz, he'll take a lot of recoil damage, so I, don't, I won't mind. He might just U-turn out or hard switch out. Most likely the U-turn, but if he Flare Blitz to me, I won't mind that much. Because his team, the only thing that this Escavalier can wall is pretty much the Jirachi, which is really good. And the uh, main child a little bit. So I'm predicting him to switch. Now what I should have went for is the counter, just in case he U-turns me. But I went for the right play, which is knockoff, just in case. He knows I have to switch. It's an obvious play, but then I could stay in too. So, yeah. Flare Blitz is going to go off because he predicted me to stay in. Um, he does take recoil, and I thought he would have taken a lot more recoil, but I guess I'm a liar. I'm a fat liar. I'm a big fat liar. Oh, this is not good. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go into my... See, if I go into the main shout, all he has to do is switch it into his Jirachi. That's actually okay. So, yeah. 
So I'm gonna go to the main shell. And I'm gonna go for the fake out. Next, I'm gonna let him go for another flare blitz if he decides to stay in. And I'm gonna switch into my Arcanine. Are you Rocky Helmet? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Okay, so he probably is gonna go for E speed here. I really feel like he's not, so I'm just gonna U turn. Just get some more damage off. He can just go for Morning Sun easily. He's definitely a defensive Arcanine, so that's kind of annoying. We also see that he has two fire types on his team, so that's not bad at all. Um, I'm gonna switch right into Milk Dove. We're gonna get regenerated off of Honey, so our HP will definitely go back up. And I'm gonna go into Milk Dud from here and try to take a fire type hit. Oh, lovely. You are beautiful. Ooh, I love, I love Milk Dud. Oh my god. Okay, so we could honestly go for a body slam here. But he's most likely going to Willow me, which I won't mind. I just want to set up some Stealth Rocks, because this will definitely hurt Arcanine a lot. Um, we ate that up. Oh my goodness. I love Milk Dud. You're amazing. He could definitely go for the Willow here. Um, or he could switch. I won't mind if he switches, but I'm, I just want to set up Stealth Rock. Okay, there we go. So if he goes for the Willow, that's fine with me. It's fine. Um, I'm actually going to go for a... Ooh, I shouldn't go for a Body Slam or a Toxic because he's probably going to switch into his Jirachi, right? Yeah, he might switch into his Jirachi. So what I could do to counter that would be to go into Soul. So I'm going to switch out and go into Soul. I believe he's going to switch. I don't know who he's switching into, but I believe he is going to switch. Okay, great. That was amazing. I didn't expect him to go into that, but he did. Okay. Um. So the obvious play is for him to switch now. I predict him to go into. He has. I, if he carries Ice Beam on Blaster, that's a problem. Okay. I really predict him to go into his Arcanine, go right back into Arcanine, or go into his his Darmanitan take the leaf storm but that wouldn't make sense because i have stealth rocks up so it's probably jirachi which is the best choice um to be safe i'm not gonna go for the leaf storm i'm just gonna go straight for the giga drain and if he switches into i guess like hydreigon okay jirachi came out so i could have definitely went for a hidden power ground right there so we do get the giga drain off jirachi i'm actually really okay with but at the same time i'm not because i feel like it has ice punch i'm gonna go for a hidden power ground to see how much it does this could definitely be a special defense wall. Um, he's not, he can't T-Wave me or Thunder Punch me. Or I'll just eat it up. But um, I feel like he's going to Ice Punch me. So that's bad that I stayed in. Uh, yeah, I shouldn't have stayed in. He actually might predict me to switch now and go into somebody that can handle him, which would probably be my uh, Mill Tank. So he might actually still make a risky play and go for T-Wave or just might go for the right play, which is to double out and go into... um. Okay, he didn't make that play, so he probably has Ice Punch. U-turn, okay. U-turn, all right. So Jirachi took that very well. Took, did, didn't do that much damage. Um. Ooh, Main Child is gonna come in. And it can fake me out, which is definitely an idea. Um, that's definitely an idea. I'm gonna switch into my Flower. Um, this is actually giving him an easy access. So, he can fake me out. Yes, that's fine. Um, he's not staying in. Now, I'm gonna go for a wish. He might just U-turn off of me, or hard switch out. Um, and then go into his, his Blastoise. I could definitely double in, go in with, um, oh, he's gonna U-turn, okay. So he could definitely switch out and go into his Mega Blastoise right now. I honestly should have went for aromatherapy first, so I could have aromatherapy my milk dud, because he's probably going to come in with his Darmanitan here. But he's going to come in with Jirachi. I actually want him to do that. Um, the U-turn from his Jirachi did... He could actually set up... Uh, oh yeah, his U-turn that he did last time did a lot. I'm going to go into Soul. It's obvious. I'm just going to go into Soul. I don't care. Even though I do, he might just U-turn. Iron Head, crit. Okay, I think that mattered. I think the Iron Head mattered. 
Wow. I really think that mattered. I don't know. Um, we don't really have much to take this out now because how he set it, how he set the team up is um, he has a steel resistance as well, so I can't really do anything about that. Even though he is steel psychic, so I could go into main shot and go for a high jump kick without a doubt. He can definitely switch into his Arcanine, which I wouldn't mind. Um, or I can go into my Jolteon actually. Yes, this is definitely an option. So I'm gonna go to Jolteon. Um I could easily go for a hit of power ice, expecting the Hydreigon to come in. Okay. And Okay, Jirachi's not going down. That's crazy. Um, will one more do it? One more won't even do it. So what I'm gonna do here is actually go for a I wanna go for a T-Bolt here, because I need this. He might just go for a um, U-turn. I'm gonna go for a T-Bolt. The Shadow Ball is resisted. I'm gonna go for a T-Bolt on his Hydreigon if he switches it in. I mean, it's a good play. See, I can't make that play. That's why I didn't go. Oh, he missed that head, but I like that a lot. I like that a lot. Um, I'm gonna go for another T-Bolt. He might wanna keep his Jirachi. Jirachi could definitely take another uh, Stealth Rock entry. So I should have went for Hidden Power Ice, but he's okay, he didn't switch. I can't make that that assumption. He's playing too safe. Hmm, this is a good battle. Alright, so here's the Demanitan. I was expecting this thing to come back in eventually. Um now here's my problem. Dimanitan is definitely going to go for like a Flare Blitz, but if he doesn't go for Flare Blitz and has super power, and he goes for um, Milk Dud, then Milk Dud is dead. So he goes for Flare Blitz, oh my god, Mil Milk Dud, Milk Dud, what is wrong with you? Milk Dud ate that up! Oh my goodness. Okay, so I feel like the... Milk Dud's amazing, Dimanitan's a powerful Pokemon. Um, I feel like he's going to switch into his Arcanine at this point and probably go for a Morning Sun. I kind of want to Toxic it if it comes in, but I'm going to go for a Milk Drink. This Darmad time might not even be locked into it. He might have been playing me, but I see how much Milk milk that just took. So yeah, we could have definitely Toxic the Blastoise just then and there. And I could have doubled out and went for Aromatherapy. Um, I'm going to actually going to... I'm actually going to... No, he's going to Aura Sphere. I kind of want to stay in there and go for a Toxic. But I can't. Um. Okay, he went for the rapid spin. So we have no more stealth rocks up. Um, could I, st I could still set them up again. That's the thing. Um, I'm gonna stay in and go for aromatherapy here. Ooh, flash cannon, not bad. That's fine with me though. That did 41%. Okay, what I'm gonna do is go for a. I could definitely switch into cling to life and eat that up. But what I'm gonna do is go for a protect first and see what he goes for. He might actually uh, switch. So no, he didn't switch. He's gonna go for a flash cannon. That's fine with me. Um, we have a little bit more HP. We just don't need him to get a crit though. Waterfall stab move. Don't get a confusion. Thank you. Because if he got a confusion hacks, we would have been out. Alright, this is predictable. He could easily switch into his Darmanitan here. Um, I'm not going to make the risk. I don't care if he switches into Darmanitan because we saw Milk Dud. Milk Dud eats it up. She ate the Flare Blitz up from her Darmanitan. Flash Cannon is going to be blocked and we're going to get the... Yeah, we're going to get the recovery off. Um, He went for a Water Pulse before and a Flash Cannon. Um, and so I could definitely switch and go into my cling to life and try to eat a flash cannon. Or I can scout. 
I can't scout. Oh, he forfeited the match. I'm going for attack. Oh. Okay. Uh, his team wasn't hopeless. It wasn't hopeless for his team. That's interesting. We're like 15 minutes in. I don't want to cut this battle short, but it was a great battle. I mean, I, I thought he still had a chance. Dirachi went down. I think that was all I needed to go down, and everything else would have been fine. Oh my goodness. Milk Dud is a beast when fire types attack her. Oh my goodness. A beast. I have no other words. Anyway, you guys already know what I'm going to say. Mach Monster, I got a like, I like it for an A. Break it, destroy it. Just don't hit that dislike button. It's actually Mach Monster, I got a like button, like an inferno, break it, destroy it, do whatever you want with it. That's also telling you, you may basically dislike the video, but just don't dislike the video because it'll make me really sad. And I'm sure it'll make everybody else sad who watches these videos and enjoys them. But, um, Besides that, please leave some comments in the text down below. Tell me what you want to see because you know you guys need to start doing that so I can like try to like showcase your Pokemon that you that you love and like, you know. So I've been getting some hits on these videos, so I'm trying my best to see if anybody wants me to use something. And if I if someone tells me uh, they want me to use something, then I'll definitely use it. Um also subscribe to this channel if you guys haven't been enjoying these these crazy um showdown battles i'm gonna be start i'm gonna start doing wi-fi battles very soon now i know i said it in the past before but it's getting close to that point where i'm definitely gonna start once i get that that capture card we're gonna we're gonna go crazy we're gonna go in with that um so yeah subscribe to the channel if you guys if you guys enjoyed these battles that i'm doing so far and if you have any friends that like pokemon tell them to check my channel out and the content i'm providing and tell them to check out team stigma as well it's a smaller pokemon community channel that we have brought together i'm in, of course on it as well um Kuhn Jars is on it as well as as well as uh, Breeder Aries and a few other names that I can't name at the moment because there's too many, it's too many. Um, but I hope you guys enjoy what's going on in that channel as well. So you guys already know what I'm gonna say at this point. So yeah, bye.